if I kill it. Okay. Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be telling you 10 things that are on my bucket list. This isn't really goals for the new year, this is just 10 things that are on my lifelong bucket list that I want to accomplish. Let's get into it. The first thing on my bucket list is that I want to participate in a triathlon. I really want to try and train for something like that at least once in my lifetime. Another thing would be to learn multiple languages. Growing up, my dad spoke fluent Portuguese and my mom spoke fluent Sicilian, but they never taught me. And I'm kind of bummed about that. The languages that I really want to learn are French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Bulgarian. I think language is just such a beautiful, unique, Thing. There's just so many different ways to say things. The origin of language is really interesting to me. Another thing on my bucket list would be to volunteer with animals in another country. I'd really like to help elephants in Thailand. Another thing would be to write a book. I have always wanted to write a book. Since I was little, I used to write little books all the time. I would just love to write a full on book, all for my own creativity and publish. Another thing that's on my bucket list would be to direct a horror film. I personally don't watch horror movies, but I love watching behind the scenes. I think the way that they're made is so interesting. Another thing would be to explore the Galapagos Islands. I love how it's untouched land and it's just for the animals. I would love to just take a cruise down there and check out the islands and look at all the animals and just see all the nature. Another thing on my bucket list would be to go on a yoga retreat in Costa Rica. A lot of my bucket list has to do with travel. It looks like something I'd really be interested in because I do love yoga and I love traveling. When you're like not doing yoga, you could be hiking in Costa Rica. Is that not the coolest thing ever? While you're meditating, while you're doing yoga, you can see the beach. I just think that a yoga retreat is something in my future for sure. Another thing on my bucket list would be to host a salon party. Um, if any of you watch a Gossip Girl, when Blair and Dan were dating, they hosted a salon party, which I think it's a really old term, it's an old thing, but I'd really want to host one. It's basically just like a house dinner party where there's a theme to it, and with every meal that's served, you discuss a new topic, and it's just a really good dinner slash discussion party. You can have like an entire theme for the night and base your menu and the conversations you have off of that theme. I think that's really cool. It's kind of different from your regular dinner party where you're just having dinner and talking about whatever. It's more structured and intellectual and I love that. Another thing that I want to do is attend New York Fashion Week. I would just really like to see the fashion in person and get to experience a fashion show because I love watching them. I think it'd be fantastic to see one in person. The last thing on my bucket list is that I want to live in Paris for two months and I just want to stay in Paris for two months and just enjoy Paris fully. I feel like five days to a week is not enough time to really experience the city and what it has to offer. I mean, in five days you could hit up all the tourist destinations, but I feel like I wanna go deeper than that and I wanna see what it's like to live day to day in Paris. You know what I'm saying? Are you feeling me? Are you catching what I'm throwing? That's something I really wanna do and I have my heart set on that. And if I like it enough, I definitely wanna live there, you know? Those are 10 of the things on my bucket list. Comment down below some of the things on your bucket list. I'm really curious to know and I would love to hear. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Let's first start out with room decor and what you can do in your room to spruce it up during the holiday season. Get a tree, any size you want, decorate it, put some lights on it, kind of go with the color scheme that you want. My color scheme is white and gold. Thank you. 